How much water does a gourd take to grow? You know, um, that's a good question. Uh, the gourds do take a lot of water. However, we're only growing between, you know, what I would say, 35 to 40 acres a year of gourds, and that still produces enough uh, to sell. Um, so, 35 to, to put it in perspective, 40 yeah, 35 acres. to 40 acres it produces yeah. 600,000 gourds. It's amazing. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and so off of that, so we're, we're not having to grow a thousand acres, but the gourds do tend to use between five and six acre feet of water. Uh, to put it in perspective, cotton's, you know, around four, four and a half acre feet to do a crop. But the thing with the gourds is, is if, if we short them water, we end up with a shell that is paper thin that you can't do a lot with. So unfortunately, they are a very water consumptive crop, but at the same time, in the long run, we're only, you know, growing 35 to 40 acres, so we're not, you know, wasting a lot of water. Uh, it comes out, it nets out to the same percentage versus if you were growing a thousand acres of another crop that might even be classified as a low water use crop. Um, Wiley is identified yeah. as a low water use crop. The problem is, and Bridgestone, like I said earlier, is kind of taking more of a keen look and encouraging farmers they go into contracts with them uh, the challenge with that though is it's still as long as they've been experimenting with this crop it's still in a sense in its infant infancy and if there's no market there you can't convert and that's one of the things we forget if we're not business professionals and our Arizona farmers are business professionals we lose sight of you know if there's no market we can't grow it Rosie, Rosie on the house, every Arizona home on 